Okay, cool. So this is actually quite topical for me right now because I've started to think about it a little bit more. So when I was training at Loughborough when I was younger and I was competing at a high level in athletics, I was very focused on performance. So I was training and recovering at the same time. So make sure I got enough sleep, make sure I had the right foods, making sure I was doing the right rest, make sure I was doing the right easy runs, as well as those hard, intense tempo interval sessions that happen when you're competing at a higher level on the track itself. But since then, my life's taken different turns and I've been through spells where I've been a bit more sedentary, um, maybe even eating too much, drinking too much, that sort of stuff. So my body hasn't been the way I wanted it to be. But over the last probably three years, since lockdown actually, I flipped a switch in my mind about how I want to change the way I live. And I've been doing my 20 to 30 minutes of stretching every single day. Now, some days I, I do 10 minutes, but I follow an app and I every day have a little streak that I have to follow it to make sure I copy exactly what the person does on the screen. And I don't miss that. I don't consider that exercise. I consider that a reset. My body maintenance, making sure I don't break. So, but I program myself to say that if I don't stretch, I don't get to run. And for me, a run is a reward, and a stretch is the boring thing. I don't want to do the boring thing, I want to do the run. So since I've been doing that, I've felt a lot better about myself in terms of I've not picked up injuries, I've not felt as um, tight and um, picked up different bits of pain when I was training. So now, over the last few months, I've decided to even look at my diet as well and I've been watching lots of YouTube videos and watching lots of, listen to podcasts and books to pick up different bits of information. Right now, I've just started in the last two weeks using um, my fitness pal and you can track your nutrition on there. And I've done that because I know the sizes of portions I eat normally are, because I'm so tired from a long run, for example, I'll overeat. And I wanted to know what I was putting in my body. So because of that, I felt a massive difference in the, the weight and the, the fat loss that I've had over the last couple of weeks because of just looking at what I actually currently eat and not changing it because of it, just monitoring it a little bit better. So I've put that into play as well in my diet. I don't know how long that will last at this point in time, but I've been trying it for, for two weeks. But as well as that, I'm running, say, between four and six times per week, between half an hour and 90 minutes, depending on how I feel that day or, or that week. I also recently have been adding in a few more resistance training sessions, whether it's um, bench press and a few of the weights attached to it, or a few deadlifts attached to that as well. Or maybe I'll jump into a hit session in a class locally. So I've got a variety of stuff happening, but my main aim over the next year or so is to transform myself into more of the athlete that I was when I was younger. I know at this point in time, I'm past the stage where I'm able to compete at a level where it was anywhere near interesting, but for me and my personal ambitions, I just want to be fit and healthy enough to be able to jump in a, a 10k and, and run a 36 or a 37 and feel nice doing it. Whereas that's been pretty difficult to, to break a 40 over the last few years. I have jumped in and done a few 36, 37s, but it's not really been um, feeling good about myself. It's been like in gaps. So I'm trying to be more consistent with my training and my fitness, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes over the next few months and, and years as well.